All right. Now, after installing, or you may have already installed, the SketchUp extension for Cabinet Parts Pro. Uh, if you have, and you're now wondering how you could use it to lay out cabinets, that's what we're hopefully uh, going to explain here. So the first step that I've done is open up uh, SketchUp with the extension already installed under the Extensions menu. We have CPP Export. The first step I'm going to do is in the new model, we have uh, Laura here, and uh, I'm going to uh, remove her from our model simply by clicking on her and hitting the delete on the keyboard. The uh, process that we're going to go through here is mainly the basics of importing a layout into Cabinet Parts Pro, so we're not going to get a whole lot of advanced in-depth of uh, wall layout or creation, but I am going to create one straight wall and add some cabinets to it. So the first step I'm going to do is go over to the Add Shapes and I'm going to create a rectangle. Coming down to our drawing space, I'm going to click once. That stretches out a rectangle and this wall I'm going to make 120 inches by 4 inches. I'm going to simply type in 120 comma 4 and then enter. That now gives us a flat wall, two-dimensional. We could then use the push-pull tool to come in over top of that wall. You see all these little dots. That means once you click, that allows that push-pull tool to open. I'm not going to click again. I'm just going to start moving in the direction that I want to pull it out. And we're going to make a nine or an eight-foot high wall. And to do that, I'm just going to simply type in 96 and then enter. That has now created us a 8 foot high wall by 120 inches long. The next step for us is to import the cabinets. To do so, we're going to go to the Windows menu and take a look inside of the 3D warehouse. We do need to use specific cabinets out of the warehouse. They, uh, cabinets that you import do have to have specific dynamic component aspects to it. And I'll have another video that it explains how to do that. If you are a, uh, a SketchUp user and have used dynamic components before, you can use one of these cabinets as an example. So the first thing that we did is did a search for Cabinet Parts Pro. Clicking search brings up a list of basic cabinets. You could click the download button which will allow you to download directly into the SketchUp model. Selecting yes now allows us to move that around. I'm not going to worry exact placement yet, just going to pull it out kind of close to that wall, clicking OK. I'm going to zoom and rotate around to where I could see this bottom left corner. And you could see when you hover over top of any corner of the cabinet, you get this little point. So I'm going to click to move from that point, moving it back to and snapping to the edge of the wall. At this point, I want to move the cabinet to the right, just uh, let's say three inches. So I will simply just click on the cabinet, moving over and locking in the dotted line that is dragging out there that is along the red axis, which is the X. And I'm going to simply type the letter three or the number three that now shifts the cabinet to the right along that red line along the X axis, three inches. Once you have one cabinet placed, this now allows us to be able to use the extension. Just quickly show how that works, going up to Extensions, Export, CPP Export, Cabinet Parts Pro opens with that cabinet imported. I'm going to close Cabinet Parts Pro to continue on with the layout. The next step that I want to do is import a, a another cabinet, maybe a drawer-based cabinet. And I will mention that I've already imported this cabinet once, so Cabinet Parts Pro already knew how to deal with it. Um, so the next step, we'll see how to import based on a new cabinet entry. So going back to the window, 
3D warehouse. And let's import a three drawer base. Selecting the download to download directly into the SketchUp model. I'm going to do the same thing that I did earlier, just selecting it. I'm going to zoom in and snap from the back corner to the back corner of the cabinet that we already have placed. To change the sizes of these cabinets, this is the usage and the ability of the dynamic components within SketchUp. I'm going to go over to the Selection tool. You right click on the cabinet and select Component Options. We get the size dimensions of this cabinet. We could change the width if I wanted this to be 12 inches wide. You could simply type 12 and then apply. That cabinet now changes. You could always leave that dynamic component options window open and just leave it there. And as you select one cabinet versus another cabinet, you will see that cabinet change. You could continue entering in and importing cabinets by going to the window. 3D Warehouse. This time we'll take a look at a four drawer base. Downloading directly into our SketchUp model. And again, just going to simply place that to the back corner of the adjacent cabinet. To make a duplicate of a cabinet, Selecting what we want to make a duplicate of. Selecting the move. And we're going to move this cabinet to the right of this four drawer base. And I'm not going to simply just move it, even though I am using the move tool. As I move, holding the control key down is saying that we want to make a duplicate of that. So as that is drug over, holding the control down, I'm going to snap it to the back corner of that four drawer base. I'm going to do the same thing, make a duplicate of the cabinet that is on the far right, near far left, coming into move, holding the control down as I move, is going to make a duplicate copy of that, and going to snap that to the back corner of the three drawer base that was duplicated to the right. We now have a basic layout of base cabinets. Now we may want to add a couple wall cabinets. And again, just selecting each one of these cabinets, we could see the sizes. Now we're going to go up into Window, Import Cabinets once more, and going to the 3D Warehouse going to take a look for a wall cabinet with two doors, downloading, importing directly into our SketchUp model, and kind of work the same way, just randomly clicking or placing that cabinet close and going to use the endpoint and going to move that up to the endpoint of the corner of our wall. And again, to move it to the right, Selecting that cabinet, I'm going to move it along that red axis by three inches, typing three, then enter, moves it three inches to that right. I now want to specify the size of this cabinet to be the same width as the combination of the two below, which now is a 12 inch cabinet and an 18 inch cabinet. So we want to make this wall cabinet 30 inches going to do so by just selecting the width and changing that to 30 and then hitting apply or enter. Now stretches that cabinet out to be 30 inches. I'm going to now add a open wall cabinet to the middle of this and to do so we're going to go to Windows, 3D Warehouse, selecting to download the open wall 
And yes, I want to download that and install it directly into my SketchUp model. And going to just simply come over and zoom in and paste that right in along the bottom there. Just double checking the size as I want this cabinet to be the same width as our four drawer base. Selecting our four drawer base will tell us the width of this cabinet is 30 inches. Selecting that wall cabinet is also 30 inches. You could increase the depth of this by simply changing the depth to 15 and then apply and it will change the depth of that cabinet. The final thing I want to do for this layout is move or make a duplicate of the wall cabinet on the left, moving it to the right. I'm going to do so by selecting the move. And again, while I am moving this, I'm going to hold the control down and snap it from the left to the right. That now gives us a basic cabinet layout that we are ready to import. I will say that we may want to change the placement or the hinging of that uh, cabinet doorknob. You could right click dynamic components options if you have it closed and change it from a right hand to a left hand and selecting apply. That just moves that knob to the opposite side. Now we are ready to import into Cabinet Parts Pro. To do that, again, we just simply go up to our extensions and selecting and clicking on Cabinet Parts Pro. This time we're going to be asked a few questions. Uh, so some of these cabinets have not been imported into Cabinet Parts Pro before. Uh, so it is going to be using the dynamic component aspects uh, of the cabinet type. So when we click here, we can see it's a base 3D, a wall 2, there's a wall 2, a wall cabinet, and each cabinet has a specific name to it. So as it's importing, it's going to see those names and it's going to ask us, what do we want to do with this? Uh, so let's see how that works. Going to Extensions, CPP Export. And now it is asking us to use these drop down box to tell us or to tell Cabinet Parts Pro what we're importing. So this is a three drawer base. And I come down and say that it is a drawer base and say OK. Well, and there is the four drawer base. We're going to say the same thing, that it is a also a drawer base. There is our open wall. What would we like to do with that? Well, I'm just going to call that a wall, or I could say that it is a open wall. And now those cabinets have been imported into the Cabinet Parts Pro list, and now will allow us to simply click the Calculate Parts in Nest. So we can see that this job takes a total of seven of seven sheets. And the setting and the placement of all of our features that we're machining in here, our shelf holes, hinge holes, the toe kick depth, that is not being brought in from SketchUp. That is already preset within Cabinet Parts Pro. So all of the settings that we have applied in our cabinet uh, settings here is the settings that are being applied to the imported cabinets. So what you would really need to do is make sure that you have all of your settings the way you would like to be building these cabinets before importing. Uh, it's not too late to make changes at this point. Uh, we still have our SketchUp model. If we wanted to make some changes, uh, we certainly can. Uh, so for example, I see we already have somewhat of a mistake um, in that I have told the SketchUp that we're using a detached toe kick, but my settings here in Cabinet Parts Pro are not applied that way. So the first thing I will need to do is make modifications to the base settings. So I'm going to go into the Cabinet Settings. Selecting the base cabinet type and saying that I do not want it to cut a toe kick notch. We'll simply say OK to that. 
also going into the settings and make the same changes to a drawer base cabinet saying that I do not want to cut a toe kick notch to that. Those cabinet settings are now saved. So they didn't affect anything that's already in this list, but that's okay. We're just going to close Cabinet Parts Pro and re-import that by going to the extensions, CPP export. There is our open wall and say okay. So it does do a, um, tries to remember what the settings were from the last time they were brought in. Um, and uh, it will continue to ask until it finally remembers and learns what these imports are. So this time, if uh, we bring them in, uh, we could select Calculate Parts and Nest. And we see we no longer have uh, toe kick notches on these cabinet parts. So that is the basics of being able to use the Cabinet Parts Pro SketchUp extension.